Small wind turbine is for yourself. If you have a windy location, you can produce um, power for yourself, electricity for yourself. This might be an enterprise, it might be a farmer, this might be also a private home. Small wind turbines have become quite popular in the past few years. This is because they represent quite a good alternative to solar panels, especially in lower light or constantly windy areas. As a result, the past decade has represented a renaissance for wind turbines with new revolutionary designs such as the Liam F1's screw-like rotor being developed. However, there are no companies that are as advanced and as innovative as Harmony Turbines and Aeromine. These two companies have introduced us to incredibly forward-thinking and modern designs and technology that promises to eliminate the issues arising from using wind turbines. Wind turbines have always harnessed a great potential in the field of renewable energy. However, they also showed quite a bit of problems that prohibited them from widespread adoption of said technologies. The biggest issue is, without question, the cost of wind turbines. They simply aren't efficient enough considering how expensive they are, seeing how they cost considerably more than solar panels. Efficiency is also a big problem, especially since consistent high-speed winds weren't all that constant, making their use quite situational and limited. Plus, it's not like they produce a whole lot of power either. If you want a powerful turbine, you'll have to opt for a pretty large turbine, which makes rolling out turbines quite problematic in residential areas due to space constraints. Also, such turbines are often very noisy and quite ungainly, making their hypothetical use even lower. As a result, present designs have become quite obsolete, and a search for more radical and innovative designs has, as we've already established, been on for quite some time. Thankfully, Harmony Turbines have set out to fix these issues by offering us their incredible Savonius Wind Turbines. Savonius Wind Turbines represent a technological leap in the field of vertical axis wind turbines, promising us simplicity, compactness, and most importantly, a wider range of uses. This is all thanks to the Savonius's completely alien blade design. Savonius turbines have a simple design that consists of multiple curved blades that form an S-shape when viewed from the side. Due to the curving of the blades themselves, these wind turbines are quite easy to rotate with even the lowest amounts of wind, as the design allows maximum resistance to it, forcing it to rotate the blades. As a result, Savonius turbines have a very low cut-in speed, meaning that it generates electricity at incredibly low wind speeds, making it suitable for most areas, especially those that aren't heavy on wind. Plus, the S-shape allows the turbine to be omnidirectional, further amplifying its usefulness in residential areas. However, as good as this design is, Harmony turbines have found a way to make it even better. You see, a Harmony wind turbine is a heavily modified Savonius wind turbine. These turbines have been designed by Christopher Moore, the CEO of the company, and have been in development since 2017. These turbines can start rotating at wind speeds of less than 2 miles per hour. Harmony's default state is fully open, like this. It starts spinning in winds of just 1 to 2 miles per hour. What distinguishes these turbines is the furling mechanism, which protects the turbine body during extremely fast winds. Instead of rotating out of control during such times, the blades on the Harmony Wind Turbine furl back to decrease the swept area and reduce the rotational velocity. It starts automatically furling to protect itself from these dangerous winds. As winds climb higher during a storm, Harmony furls up just enough to maintain safe speeds. This ingenious design allows the turbine to be much more reliable and have a greater lifespan while also fixing the issue of lower efficiency at high wind speeds. Practically speaking, during fast winds, the turbine's blade gears engage with the vertical shaft, progressively closing and thus allowing the blades to reduce the rotational speed and protect the system without losing productivity. One of the more interesting practical designs, apart from the Harmony Savonius turbine, are airfoil turbines. And there is no company that is as adamant at creating a working, practical airfoil turbine as Aeromine is. You see, the biggest advantage that airfoil turbines have is their incredible use of space, especially when considering how incredibly potent these turbines are. 
You see, airfoil turbines rely on an aerodynamic design that captures and amplifies building airflow. Once wind passes through the airflows, a low pressure is generated. The air then gets drawn up through the intake and internal generator, which creates electric energy. Airfoil turbines have no external moving parts. As a result, we will be getting a virtually inanimate wind turbine that is noise-free. The scientific basis of these turbines relies on Bernoulli's principle. This means that an increase in speed of a fluid or gas simultaneously occurs alongside a decrease in static pressure of the matter's potential energy. As a result, Aeromine's airfoil turbines tend to be ideal for urban environments. This is because cities, especially at their heart, tend to be quite drafty and wind can sometimes be very strong, making them ideal for such environments. What Aeromine is also pushing for is the imperative on both sustainable and eco-friendly production of these turbines. You see, wind turbines, albeit sustainable and eco-friendly, still rely heavily on various rare earth materials, such as silicone and rare earth magnets, which is exactly what Aeromine is setting out to eliminate. This will not only be better for the environment, but it will also allow for a lower price tag, making these turbines much more affordable to acquire when mass produced. Despite being such potent technologies, both airfoil turbines and Savonius turbines have their fair share of problems. Savonius turbines are undoubtedly complicated to create, and implementing a sensor-reliant system that would open and close blades, depending on wind, is no small feat. Not to mention that this will only increase both maintenance cost as well as the general cost of the turbine. Thankfully though, the Harmony turbine bypasses this issue by making this system purely mechanical. There are no sensors at all, and the furling system relies exclusively on the wind's power. This makes it both easier and cheaper to make, as well as maintain. On the other hand, airfoil turbines generally tend to be quite expensive to make, which is why their widespread use was only theoretical. Thankfully though, Aeromines focus on ridding their turbines of any unnecessary ballast, materials, or technology help their case a ton. If that wasn't enough, the Aeromine design is also virtually weatherproof, as it has been designed to be as durable as possible, especially against hard winds, hail, and similar weather conditions. Furthermore, Aeromine is also aiming at creating a harmonic cohesion between wind and solar energy, which will help them pave the way to the world of sustainable electricity. The focus on a symbiotic existence between wind and solar energy is Aeromine's ticket to naturally and gradually increase production and slowly, but surely, take over the entire market of wind turbines. You see, solar energy is still superior to wind energy, which is why it serves as the perfect basis to introduce wind energy to wider masses, especially since turbines can oftentimes neutralize the notable issues of solar energy. As a result, Aeromine will essentially be paving the way for their projected mass production of their airfoil turbines. Furthermore, Aeromine is also exploring different ways of improving their design, such as implementing different, more aggressive, and more efficient airfoils. Harmony Turbines is also doing the same thing, as the CEO Christopher Moore is constantly searching for different kinds of ways to improve his design and make it more efficient. One of the first innovations and changes made to the Savonius Harmony Turbine are the articulated scoops, which granted exceptional spin control. And this changed exactly what put the company on the map. So these scoops are going to be fully welded on all of their seams and it's going to allow us to gather the data that we need during what we would have in Pennsylvania as bad weather or high wind conditions. It's very cool to see a company that is constantly trying to innovate and create a perfect product even before they release it to the public. Nowadays, everybody seems to just rush the product and fix it once it's already on the market. However, Chris is adamant on exploring the technology before marketing it. In fact, as of February this year, the company has expanded their R&D and production teams, as well as general staff, not to mention that the company has also acquired adequate machinery to rapidly test out and create prototypes, which they plan on doing until they're satisfied with the final product. This kind of thinking will allow Harmony Turbines to carry onwards and gain in popularity, even though solar energy has a bit of a head start 
and the combination of the two branches of renewable technology is sure to only move the sustainability of electric energy further. However, these two companies are still far from grand-scale corporations, which is why a bit of hesitancy isn't unjustified. What do you think? Do these two technologies seem to promise the achievable? Or are they just selling us mist? And do you think there is space for wind energy in urban environments? Be sure to let us know in the comment section below. Also, be sure to tell us what topics you would like to see explored in the future. And finally, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. And ring that bell so that you don't miss a thing. Thank you for watching and see you next time.